Well, yeah, before you put your brisket in to smoke, you want to season it, pepper, salt, garlic. Let it set for a couple of hours. Uh, and then you really can't use too much of this. Just pour on what you need. It's good for chicken, pork, beef. Well, let's go check out the barbecue, the uh, the pit. Let's fire this thing up. Okay, we've got our grills down. We want to make sure that while the charcoal is getting ready, you've got both grills down so that they'll heat up. And as you just saw that flame just blow out of there, that's one thing you want to do is after you light the bag, you want to make sure you're out of the way. But anyway, let's go check out the meat inside. When you buy a brisket, you want to make sure you've got plenty. I can get this thing picked up. You want to make sure you've got plenty of fat on it. That's what makes good brisket. If you have very little fat, you're going to have some shoe leathers. Boy, that stuff can be tough. Now this is not for commercial. This is this is for your own personal use. So if you get a 10 pound brisket, you're going to probably wind up with about 5 pounds of meat. So figure it from that way. But it sure does turn out good when you... Uh, it'll take about 4 hours. Sometimes it takes 4, sometimes 5 hours. And along with it, you can make you some potatoes. We'll probably have some corn and some other stuff. The brisket's fairly easy to fix, especially when you do it right. And in this case, we're going to do it right. Okay, now it's time to kind of stoke that charcoal because you want to get it all. spread apart so that all the kerosene, coal oil, whatever they use nowadays is used up because if not your meat's going to taste like a Ford pickup, Chevrolet pickup, some kind of pickup. Okay it's time to stoke it one more time. I see just very little flames coming up. You want to make sure that there's no flame. Okay. First thing is we want the fat side down first. So well, here we go try to do this with one hand while holding this camera. Oh boy, this thing's heavy. Yeah, cool. Alright, we got her on. What little bit of sauce we got left. Just pour it on top. No flame. Load it. All right, let's go check the time. Everybody. Okay, the fight time is five, ten minutes to eleven. Okay, after after a few minutes, after a few minutes, you want to come out and check and make sure you do have smoke coming out. And you don't want a particularly large amount of smoke because if you have a large amount of smoke coming out of there that means there's a fire in there so if you got just a small amount like we have right here then you know it's cooking slow and that's what you want you don't want to cook brisket too too fast 
because the outside will get done and the inside won't. And we'll be checking the brisket here in an hour. Well, not checking it, we'll be turning it in about an hour. With a 10 pounder, it's probably going to take about four hours. Okay, we're not going to turn the meat, we're just going to check it. You can see it's starting to smoke. Or not starting to smoke, it's been smoking. You don't want, you don't want much more than that. Now the seasoning you put on there... It's going to make a little bit of a difference on how it tastes. So the more seasoning you put, the better it's going to taste. Just want to kind of lift it up a little bit. You see how it's just kind of a dark, dark brown. If you can get a good look at it. See, it's not black. Of course, the top is not cooked yet. I mean, we got a ways to go. We're just checking it to make sure it's not burning. So. Okay, you can check it. I'm going to try to turn this while I'm holding this camera. Okay. Alright, we've got our turn. Come back in another hour. You can see the charcoal still doing real well. Lots of heat, uniform, got the charcoal all spread out. So here we go, another hour. There's our taster down there, checking everything out. Want to know when it's going to be ready. Well, it's been about an hour and a half, so time to go stoke the charcoal. Okay, now we're getting to the point of when the charcoal's been in there for an hour and a half, two hours, that you want to make sure that you see smoke, because if it starts dying down where you don't see smoke, then that means your charcoal needs to be stoked. In other words, moved around a little bit, get some of the the uh, not so burn up coals to the top. But since we've still got smoke coming out, we're going to leave everything alone. We are going to check it though. You can see how the grease is dripping down on the coal, keeping it going. See the meat on top. It's got that dark brown look to it. That's what we want. Because we're going to be able to, we're going to have to flip it one more time after this hour is up. And so far, so good. Okay, you can see it's dark brown. That's what you want. And the way you check it, of course, it's still too early to, to say that it's even close to being ready. But when you get ready, what you want to do is check to make sure that blood is not running out. In other words, you want all the blood cooked in your meat. Let's see if I can get something here where you can see what's going on here. Yeah, see, it's still kind of red. So we still got a ways to go to get this cooked. But that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for any red in the meat at all. Let's get this thing turned. Half a turn again. Now 
There we go. We're going to set our timer again for another hour. We're getting there. About two more hours, it'll be ready. gone a while. Well, it's still smoking. Let's check the meat. Oh, you can check the meat. Looks like we're just about out of charcoal. But we're at the point to where we shouldn't need any more. So uh, there we go. Okay. Now let's see if there's any blood in there. Yep. Still kind of bloody. So I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. Probably another hour and it should be about ready. But we're going to end up having to put a few more coals on here because it looks like these are like these are just about used up. Usually one bag will get you through one brisket, but looks like we're going to have to put in just a little bit more. That won't be a problem. Okay, we put a little more coal in there. We might put a little bit more in there in a few minutes. Just we got to get this going first. For a few minutes so that we can get a little air in there to catch these on fire a little faster we don't like much but that brisket needs to be dark really dark brown on the outside for it to be done in the middle because you really want to cook all the blood you really don't want any wear meat on the inside because we don't know how long this meat's been sitting out somewhere so it's always good to cook it very well in the, in the center as well as the outside. Of course now you're at the point where you could poke holes in it. Let's let some of that fat run down inside, inside there. This will start taking off here in a few minutes. We're gonna check back with it here in a few minutes. Okay, you can see we've opened up some breathing holes. Right down there on that side. And over here on this side, so that we can close the lid and get a little, little air in there. Because the grease dripping off of there onto those coals will start them up and it'll start going, start uh, catching on fire. Well, not catching on fire, but activating those coals so they start burning. Other than the last 30-45 minutes you want to drop it down to the bottom the bottom rack. This will heat up what's not done. It's been on there now for about four hours. Check over here. We're going to cook the last 15 minutes of it, and it'll be ready to eat. Off we go onto the plate. Okay, you can see we've cut it. Got no blood, no nothing. Got good brown meat. And you can see the time, 3.30. Well, how long it takes to do this. And we did it with charcoal. 